YouTube, Salivate Metal here. Is silver more rare than gold? Well, some people in the silver community believe that's the case. And some of that information has propagated over the years, starting in about 2011, when we saw the silver prices flirting with $50 per ounce. And I remember some of the ads, some of the radio ads that came out during the time, and they were talking about how silver uh, could push $100, and that's a conservative estimate because they felt that f silver is uh, more rare than gold. Well, most of the information comes from articles like this where uh, if you read through it, how I read through it at least, it told me that gold was more rare than silver. So it's quite fascinating to uh, see how they were able to take this information and twist it around almost in the opposite direction by using numbers to push an agenda, facts and figures, leaving out certain caveats and the like. Sort of reminds me of Barack Obama going through a world, going to a world audience in a joint session of Congress in the State of the Union speech where he says that those who would think that the economy is in decline are peddling fiction. Well, I guess it depends of your point of view and how you twist the numbers around and the like as to whether or not we are peddling fiction or not. But And the same thing goes for the, uh, the gold to silver, natural gold to silver ratio. We're all aware of the monetary ratio between gold to silver, approximately now 70 to 75 to 1. But... Really, the ratio that matters as far as the rarity of silver is the natural ratio. And there's certain websites that you go out and you can find information. Some of them are pretty in-depth, such as, such as this one here that talks about the number of ounces, billions of ounces and millions of ounces of gold and silver. And, and then you will get to this number here, which is the most important. It tells you about the rarity of silver to gold. And it's an average of about 10 to 1 from the different sources that I've been able to to procure here. Here's one that goes as close as 10.48 to 1 ratio, the natural ratio of silver to gold that has ever been mined in history. And uh, that leads us to this graphic here, which some of you may remember from a pair of videos I posted a while back, both on gold and silver. We can see just by looking at this without reading anything that there's a heck of a lot more silver than there is gold. But the argument that the, that the silver pumpers make is that a lot of silver, yes, they don't deny that there's a lot more silver that's been mined in the world. But they're saying that more than almost half of it is gone or been lost uh, throughout history. And as you can see here, that you take away that, that second cube here is that which has been, quote, lost in history. Well, you take that cube away and you give them that, there's still a lot more silver than there is gold that's ever been mined throughout world history. But let's go back to this large cube that has been, uh, quote, lost. Is it really lost? You know, that's that's really the question. And how do you find, how do you define lost silver? Well, as you know, the silver has been used in industry. In fact, it is abundantly clear that silver has become just as much, if not more, a commodity than a monetary asset or something that can be monetized um, as money. And the interesting thing about that is that Silver, its price has gone, has fluctuated as a commodity more so than, than money. And that's why you're probably seeing that gold to silver ratio being so high as it is as far as the cost amount. But what people are, what the silver pumpers are saying is that when it's being used in industry and being lost throughout history, that's going to increase more as a commodity than it is being used as money throughout uh, throughout history at the, at the mines and the uh, bullion products and the like. And so when that occurs, you are going to see a loss of silver and that will eventually surpass that which is uh, reserved for 
silver uh, coins and bars and invest and investment silver, so to speak. And the evidence of that they use is the shortcoming of of the U.S. Mint acquiring silver eagles and the like. And but of course, both of those things can be explained very simply. I'll go to the to the to the latter first, and that is a shortage of silver for the for the mints. Uh, U.S. Mint having a shortage of silver. Well, no, the silver is easily procured. There's just a lot of demand for it, which is a good thing. But the other thing is, is that uh, it takes time and energy to process that silver once it's mined to turn it into a, a bullion product such as a, an American Eagle and the like. That's where the problem is. There's a lot of demand for silver, but silver is still low priced, and people are taking advantage of it because, uh, for obvious reasons, because the price is so low. The other thing is, is the silver that is quote lost through the uh, processes of being used in electronics, the medical, biomedical industries, and in uh, television and all different television uh, industry, um, solar panels. There's a lot of different uses for silver. It's the, it's the best conductor of electricity. So when you take those into account, people are saying that all those uses, the, the, the silver is being, is being lost. Well, it's not lost because it can be recovered from those locations if the price gets to a point where it is deemed worth it. And uh, will we ever get there? Probably not, in my honest opinion, uh, because if we ever did get there, then there's going to be a lot of uh, ways to extract it efficiently and cost-effectively, therefore bringing uh, the price back down again because you're going to have a glut of silver that has been recovered from scrap and the like. And uh, believe you me, I've seen it firsthand, um, not through the technology aspect, but from, from those uh, at my local coin shop where people are buying silver jewelry and scrap silver. When it, when it came up high, they're taking silverware and the like. It's being turned over into, into um, being melted and put back into the, to the silver supply. So silver is never lost. There's no such thing as lost silver, and it is abundant, and it is uh, plentiful, and it is out there. Does it mean it's not valuable? No, it is valuable. Is it underpriced? I believe it is. I believe it's underpriced for the same reason why I believe that we are on the verge of an economic decline. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>